Maybe you know, that was quite some comeback. Um, give us your give us your assessment overall. I mean, it's, it goes without saying it's a huge win in the context of what you're trying to achieve. Yeah, correct. I think um, it was a big win, especially we come from behind. I think first half we played well without being ruthless and clinical in, in, in the opponent's box. So we, we have to have the lead in, in the first half after, after the performances, which um, the guys have shown. And then obviously we got the setback where we conceded with their first shot on target. I think we didn't look effect, affected by this uh, setback and this goal we conceded. We kept going, kept producing good box entries, good opportunities without being clinical, I think we had nine or ten corners already in, in the first half without um, producing something dangerous. Second half, I think we didn't play as good as in the first, and uh, but second half we were ruthless. We used the corners, uh, one of a corner routine, uh, and uh, obviously then we had um, Gunny uh, who kept us in the game in very crucial moments as well. So performance-wise, I think maybe not on the on the on the level which we had in recent weeks but from the shift and from the work at it togetherness it was the same level and i think uh, then sometimes in the season there are games where you have to rely on your set pieces credit to and reuse our set piece coach and on your goalkeeper as well but at least you have to work super hard and this is what the players have done and this is why i'm i'm absolutely delighted with um, the three points today but you you don't need to have a reminder of the, the resilience and the character because they've had to show it during the season, it hasn't all been as you would have wanted it. We all know that it's been up and down. But even when you see that again today, um, does it just underline what, uh, as you've said all along, you know, you've got a real special group of players there? Yeah, um, I think uh, so. But I not have a shadow of a doubt about this. I think everybody knows. But uh, I think if some needed a, le a final push to trust and believe in this group, I think then the day is what they've shown. Because um, in, in recent games, we, we, I think we took the lead quite often. It was uh, today that we first uh, uh, were in behind. And uh, you've seen the other results uh, on this match day. No result in the championship is uh, what you can take for granted. You, you have to do your homework super, super good and always be on it. And if you, at least you always have to fight and, and, and work on the highest level which you can. And this is what the players have done. And then again, uh, football wise, I think the first half was, was okay, was good. Second half, it wasn't. Um, but uh, is, if you do uh, what the players have done, um, then I think you deserve the win as well. I think I'm right in saying that's seven home league wins on the spin now, which is particularly in the context of it, Caro, it's not always been the easiest in recent seasons in terms of results and performances and bringing the fans with you on that journey. But to put seven wins on the spin um, just underlines again what a, what a remarkable period this has been now since the turn of the year. Yeah, I think um, at home they, they, they get the wins and mostly the performances away maybe. They're not as often got the wins, but performances were, from my point of view, consistently on a good level. And um, we keep going. We, we, we keep doing what we've done in the past and we said this now in the dressing room as well let's let's only do what we've done in the past speak less work more and take it game by game and uh, the next one is a big big challenge uh, again against Leicester and um, today we enjoy the afternoon this three points crucial three points another big three points to be fair after every win everybody says it was a big win yeah yeah it was <laughs> Um, so this is now the routine, but it's the truth. And um, then uh, tomorrow we get the focus on Leicester. And just follow on from me if I can, uh, before asking you a few on Leicester. You touched on it there, the results in and around the teams. You know, West Brom only getting a point at Millwall. I think Hull have lost today as, as well. I know it's all about you and what your team do, but you look at that table now and, and maybe there was a, maybe outside the bubble, it was, well, sixth might be the only spot available. You now look at it, you're only... Three points behind West Brom in fifth. You've really brought them back to you almost for the for the final seven or eight games. Yeah, but I said this. I think it makes no sense to look on the table or judge the table every match day. Can change uh, with one game. I think it makes totally sense to be focused on us. Make sure we 
produce performances uh, like we've done in recent weeks, make sure we fight and, and, and work as hard as we've done today as well. And uh, then we have to make sure um, yeah, that we that we stay healthy because we have a very thin squad. I think this more often in, in recent weeks. If you see in our match day squad today again, I think everybody realizes it. And um, now it's a super busy period at the end of the season where everyone has already a lot of uh, games in his legs. Luckily today everyone healthy, which is important. Duffy came back with his first game after his injury. Um, which helps because it's another body in the building and um, this is what we do. We keep working, keep focusing on the next one, uh, which is the exciting one. Is Shane Duffy ready to start? Is he ready to do 90 minutes or is that too much of a workload for him at this point? I think we should be quite sensible with uh, him because obviously he's a big man and uh, with this calf injury, which was a serious one, um, we have to be sensible. But I think if needed, uh, he says he's ready. Maybe the medical department and the fitness department uh, sees a little bit different. Um, we will see um, how we will use him in the next weeks, but it's important that we have him back. Just a, a quick one from me, based on their observations of the game. They felt that um, they were lucky to get a not to get a penalty, they're unlucky not to get a penalty on the stroke of half time and their player was yellow carded and also they felt they were short changed when there was an incident that meant they defended that corner with 10 men. Now I know you're not going to comment too much on that but do you sometimes feel that you know, a little bit of momentum and a little bit of good fortune going your way at the moment and that you need that as well when you're trying to push your promotion? Um, to be fair, I, I haven't seen the penalty incident back uh, and I think the situation with the corner, this is this, this are the rules. So um, no one will change the rules, um, even not for, for Plymouth in this situation. But uh, anyway, I think uh, obviously it's a good side. They've seen it. Um, I know how it is when you come maybe from a situation where you... Um, we're quite safe and then you drop uh, match day by match day um, but at the end of the day they are in around the fight and um, yeah they have enough games uh, to solve their their problems but uh, to be fair uh, we have enough problems with us so this is why I'm not too much focused on on them and what they said